A massive sinkhole continues to plague people in a condo complex in La Habra four years after the earth gave way. Uh, people who live there say it's an eyesore and a danger, and they're asking the city to make the much needed repairs. Tonight, KCAL News reporter Leslie Marine spoke with those frustrated residents. Front door. And this is our patio. And this is the view Insu Kim wakes up to every morning. A green fence covering a massive hole in the ground. It is very frustrating. Yeah, yeah this is my this is all we have and we are retired already. The massive sinkhole now divides the Coyote Village condominium complex in La Habra. On the other side, Father Justin Marinello. Just kind of seeing it getting worse and worse and then not really seeing any progress. But it's not only an eyesore for him, it's also a danger for his four-year-old son. This is the largest green belt that's supposed to be on this property, largest common area for us to be able to, you know, run around, play in the grass. When we're here, if the only place he can play is basically where everyone drives. The problem started back in 2019 when the area near the tennis courts first gave way. Then last March, with all the winter's rain, the land near the pool came crashing down. The county originally did some cleanup work. The city went back in March. Since then, no one has touched it. The problem here, an underground flood control channel that was once covered with dirt and trees and a park. It started a legal fight between the HOA and the city over who's responsible to fix it. The city says it's private land. And back in the 70s, when the city first approved the development, it was only approved to have three feet of soil sitting on top of it, not nine feet like it had. While the HOA says the developer never told residents it was even there. I've just watched everything kind of like slowly diminish and diminish and diminish. And, you know, if you look over there, there's there's wild bushes growing out. But it's all left people living there today dealing with the problem. They say they're dealing with more bugs and mosquitoes. And although they pay $400 a month in HOA fees, the pool and tennis courts remain closed because of the sinkhole. No one takes care of it. No one takes responsibility of it. Well, 8.5 million state dollars have already been secured to repair this. The good news here is that the HOA and the city are currently coming to an agreement, we're told, that they'll present to the city council on Monday. It will then have a couple more steps before fully approved. The HOA says they hope to start construction by the fall. Reporting from La Habra, Leslie Marine, KCAL News.